The manhunt for April 1st is now in progress. To date, you have captured 884 fugitives. Now, join the manhunt with John Walsh. We start off tonight with breaking news. Since it began in 1950, the FBI's 10 most wanted list has included some of the most notorious criminals in the world. Well, tonight, we're revealing the next name to become part of this infamous history. He's a punk, and he's a real coward. We're going to take him down tonight. There was an officer down call with shots fired. We go to work every night knowing that that's a possibility. Hands on the steering wheel. And you hope and pray it never happens. March 22nd, 2006. It seemed like a typical night just outside Albuquerque, New Mexico. Deputy James McGrain, working the late shift, pulled over a pickup truck, something he's done hundreds of times before. He called it in. Then, nothing. There was silence for about five minutes. And then there was a 911 call that was made. Someone living nearby had heard two shots. You can't describe what it's like to look down and see that tan uniform that all of us wear laying in the middle of that road. And it just hurts to think that he didn't even have a chance. And that's a, that's a scar that every single person in this department wears right now. The next morning, under snowy skies, cops went to work. A frantic investigation and search yielded an early lead. Cops say this man, Michael Astorga, is the man behind the gun that killed Deputy McGrain, a man cops were already intimately familiar with. In November of 2005, cops say he gunned down an Albuquerque man during a simple dispute over a lowrider car. We believe that murder is the reason he shot Deputy McGrain. He didn't want to go back to the joint, and he did what he felt he had to do to prevent that from happening. Now we're going to do everything that we can to make sure that does happen. Manhunters from all over the area hit the streets, rounding up anyone who might have seen a Astorga or had any connection to the fugitive. Did your son know Michael no. Astorga? Oh, he said he knew he, he knew him, but he never hung around. Him. He lived and everything. I mm -hmm. told him where he lived. And, and they went to his house and talked to him? Yes. We're going to do a search warrant. It's an evidence search at this point. And we're looking for any narcotics, any evidence in reference to the shooting, handguns, clothing. Uh, we have reason to believe the subject was there as early as last night at 5.30 in the evening. This is tough. We vacillate between anger and heartbreak. But one thing we have not wavered in is our determination to catch him. Watch the cars to the right. And we're not going to stop either. Take a look at these tattoos. To get a closer look, log on to our website at amw.com. They may be the key to taking Michael Astorga down. If you've seen him, call us now at one 800 Prime TV. Astorga is nothing but a coward punk with a gun, and his days of freedom are numbered. Your tips have already wiped 15 fugitives off the FBI's most wanted list. This dirtbag Astorga is next. Now, here's another punk we've got some unfinished business with. After a wild car chase, cops had him cornered. But that's when he showed them some firepower they never saw coming. 